I want to do an unboxing video for you guys. Um, it's Ajani, Ajani versus Nicol Bolas. It was uh, 19. So here's an unboxing video for you guys. Ajani versus Nicol Bolas. It's a little late coming, but uh, very late. Um, very late than never, right? So it's the real one. I got Walmart, 20 bucks, um, as I usually do. And I'm not going to be real careful with this. I'm just going to try it however I can. There's the Ajani deck box, which I never use these. It's uh, Avarice and Deceit. Oh boy. For Ajani, it's Justice and the Fury. They always uh, outdo themselves when it comes to these little boxes, though. I really enjoy the little boxes. Great for holding um, all kinds of spare cards. It's not terrible. So, our Master cards here. There is Ajani. No obvious defects. And Nicobolas. I said it was 20 bucks at Walmart. They had three of them. I usually like to pick up two or three of them at least. But this time I'm like, you know what? I never really modify the decks. So I like keeping them the way they are. So that's what I'm going to do this time around. I'm just going to buy one. Okay, and these right here are usually pretty cool. They're usually worth um, hanging on to a little bit. Let's take a separate video shot of that. So if we were to hang this up, it might look all right. Just so we can have like Nicobolas and Ajani looking at each other. It's got some really great um, imagery here. The very small Leonin against the huge monstrous um, Dragon Lord there. Uh, the back's really not nothing worth looking at though. But might be worth hanging up. So for Nicol Bolas, we get the Zeppelin token to start with. I really don't care about the cards that's in here too much. I just want the alternate art stuff. It's not terrible though. I mean, that guy's good, sure. That guy's actually surprisingly good. That guy I love. Machine Head decks, that guy's awesome. Man. Uh, Shriek Maul's okay. Not so much anymore. Yeah, just kind of like generic stuff here. It's mostly for newbies. I just got for Planeswalkers and the Foils. Um, Undermine, good stuff. Most of the time at least. Alternate Art Deep Analysis might be worth something in the future. But I really don't care about it. Ultimatums I don't care about. Those I don't care about. That I care about. I always go to the lands. Even the bad ones like that. And then some lands. Yeah. For Johnny's deck we have Token. Uh, Crit Apes, always good. Essence Art, always annoying. Uh, Wild Nakatel, pretty good these days. Low Mine, pretty good as well. And uh, Jade Mage, yeah, I could go either or on that one. Those guys are pretty decent. Uh, Quasali, some Landfall effects. Woody Thockers, or Boss. Box and Hierarchy, it's okay, it's okay. That guy's just terrible. Life Game Tricks are fun. That guy's fun. Uh, Lightning Helix Alternate Art, it's very nice. Oops, we just realized I'm a little out of focus here. Searing Meditation. Now that guy is all kinds of crazy and combined with, uh, I forget which angel it is. Did they put the right angel in here? Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, so Fireman Angel plus Searing Meditation. A really nice combo. So if he's in your graveyard or on the battlefield, you gain one life. All right. And then he's got the ability to uh, return it from the graveyard to the battlefield, only activate during your upkeep. Uh, like 10 mana to do that though. But Searing Meditation, whenever you gain life, you may pay 2. If you do Searing Meditation, you'll still damage start creature or player. So for 2 mana every turn, and since he hits the battlefield or the graveyard, you'll be able to shock something. For something a little pricier than shock. Um, Behemoth Sledge, uh, not the most interesting card in the world, but plus 2 plus true life leak and trample. Uh, I mean, that's that's just good. I mean, you're talking like Armadillo Cloak Power there, and it doesn't go away. Um, I would wish they would pick some better artwork for it though, because that's, that's just not the most unimpressive thing I've ever seen. I'm not scared of that. Ah, uh, Naya Charm. Some stupid life gain. More junk. Eh. Yeah. Some of it's good. That's probably like the best line I gave you. And you just like forest cards I'm out and done. So there's the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Johnny and Nicobolas will uh, do some 
fast games with it in a little bit and see uh, which deck is better like we did with the uh, um, Knights and Dragons deck.